Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In previous demonstrations, I showed you how to create a document library for handling quotes. But in this demonstration, I'm going to show you a much better way of doing that. I'm going to start by creating a new document library. Usually you want to do this at the highest possible level in your organizations. So in most organizations, that means you're the SharePoint expert and you have permissions on the entire SharePoint form really. So you want to go into site settings on any site, find the content type publishing link here and click on that link to get you to a hidden site collection that's called the content type hub. I'll talk more about this in future demonstrations. Now I want to keep everything simple. So I'll just assume that you have a lower level of permission that you only have permissions on the site collection. So this can all be done on the site collection level or on the content type hub. The content type hub is strategically better, but it gets somewhat complex. So I'll skip that complexity now, just mentioning it now. So instead, I'm gonna go into the top level site on my site collection, click on the site content types, and here are all my existing content types. I'm gonna create a new one here, call out Contoso quote, and base it on the document content types and the document. There we go. And then I'm going to put that in a new group. I'm going to call that group Contoso and then I'm going to click OK. And as you see, that content time now has two columns. It has the name of type of the column is a file. Now this content type will contain one file and there's the title field. Then I'm going to add new columns to this content type and I'm going to create a quote date column type and that's going to be a date and time. And of course, I should always use a description there. I'm going to skip that now and put this column in a Contoso group for my columns. So the column has one group and the content types has one group. So I'm adding that now. That's the, say, the quote date. Then I'm adding another new site column. And that's going to be the quote decision dates. And that's going to be a date and time again. I'm going to put that in the same existing group. Now it is existing, the Contoso one. And then I'm going to click OK there. And then I'm going to add the value. And I'm going to use the currency field for that. And I'm going to not have any decimal places. And click OK. And then finally, we're going to have the approval out from my new site column. And in this case, I'm going to use a choice field. Those always work rather well. And then I'm going to connect that to my Contoso group and add the values here. And I do want to put them in sequence of the process. So I'm going to do undecided first and I'm going to do yes, which is hopefully the outcome. Uh, or and the third will be no. I'm going to have the default value to one undecided. Excellent. So there I've created my content type, which uh, inherits from the parent document and contains these four extra columns. That concludes my demo on how to create your first content type. We haven't been able to use it, but now I've created it. So the next demo, I'll show you how to use it. Thank you for watching this one.